All right, ladies and gentlemen, Vincent here with the Technology Concierge. Today I'm going to be talking about BitLocker. Now, uh, there's actually going to be two videos on this. There's going to be a basics video on it, and then there's going to be a video on it for people who are receiving a specific error message, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. For those of you who have no idea what BitLocker is, BitLocker is a drive encryption program that is proprietary to Microsoft and what it does is help secure your data. So for those of you who want to ensure that they have security and who are concerned that if someone is trying to access a hard drive or any kind of physical drive of yours, uh, that they might be able to do so, um, I highly recommend using BitLocker. I actually use it on my personal system um, and uh, it works like a charm. So it's, it's great for security. Now, the error message that I'm talking about. This video is a little bit more in depth. The error message I'm talking about is when I go over here, or actually, uh, to turn on BitLocker encryption first, we're going to go down. There's other. There's many ways to do this. I do it this way. Go down to your file explorer, click on your file explorer. On your left hand side you see a panel option, a panel of options. You click this PC, go to your local disk C here, right click it, and select turn on BitLocker. Here is the message. This device can't use a trusted platform module. Your administrator must set the allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM option in the require uh, in the require additional authentication st at startup policy for OS volumes. So how do we go about fixing that? Well, there's a couple of ways to do that. I'm going to talk to you about an easier way to do that. All right. So, this process does get a little bit involved. Uh, the first thing that we're actually going to do, though, is go down here and we're going to type run on our search bar. And we're going to hit enter. And this pulls up a little option where we can type in a command. And we're going to type in gpedit. I believe it's msc. Yep, it is. Okay, so type in gpedit.msc. Right, and you're going to get this local group policy editor. Okay. On the left-hand side, we're going to scroll down right here where it says administrative tip. So we're going to expand that. Okay. And under here, we're going to go down and we're going to expand Windows Components. And, or is it, yeah, it is Windows Components. Yep. And then we need to scroll down to BitLocker Drive Encryption. Where is BitLocker? BitLocker Drive Encryption. Click that. And then Operating System Drives. Now, from here, the next option is going to be clicking on require additional authentication at startup. Right now, it is not configured at all. So we need to enable this in order for BitLocker to actually function. So we're going to enable this. And we need to select enabled and hit apply. Hit OK. Now, we need to make sure that the allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM requires password uh, or a startup key on a USB flash drive option is checked. Uh, so go back and double click that and note that this is still checked. Allow BitLocker without compatible TPM requires password or startup key on a USB flash drive. Hit OK. And uh, that's basically it, right? That's how we get it to edit our user policy. So now um, that should solve your error. What we'll do next is go ahead and right click, oops, go here. We're going to try this one more time. I'm going to go here. We're going to hit turn on BitLocker. BitLocker is verifying right now. Choose how to unlock your drive at startup. Now, this is where it gets interesting. You can actually set your computer to only turn on if you have the flash drive that is listed as its startup key. 
Uh, so makes it very difficult to actually even get your computer to turn on unless you have the password, unless you have that, that startup key. Now that would be for people who really want security and are very concerned about what is on their system. I, I, I could understand businesses using this. Uh, I could understand people who have payment information or lots of confidential information stored on their systems using a, a feature like this. And there are other features that they would probably use in addition to this that make it even more secure. So we're just going to hit enter a password. So we're going to set up our password, and our password's going to be very simple. All right? Next. Oh, doesn't meet minimum length requirements. That's right. Okay, uh, let's see. What do I want this password to be? So I've made my password. And I can save it to the Microsoft account, save it to a USB flash drive, save it to a file or print recovery key. I recommend that you print a recovery key because if you don't do that, uh, you might have a problem if you ever forget your password. You're going to need that recovery key for your password. So I'm just going to save mine to a file in documents for now because this is a virtual machine. This location can't be used. Oh. Yay. Okay, that worked. So now, there's two options you have for encryption once we get past that. You can encrypt used disk space only, which is faster and best for new PCs and drives, or you can encrypt the entire drive. It is super slow when you do that, depending on how big your drive is. So in like my case, I had a one terabyte drive. It took forever. Um, you, I, I would actually recommend that you encrypt the entire drive. It's just better. Uh, and this is specifically for drives that are already in use. Uh, you can encrypt disk space for drives that are being used. You don't necessarily have to. I do recommend using encrypt entire drive. And then you would hit next. And you can do compatible node. Um, if you want drives that are going to be moved from system to system, in this case, we just need it on this device. So we're going to hit new encryption mode, which uh, this is a virtual machine, so everything's going to stay inside this. So we're going to hit next. And then we're going to hit run BitLocker system check, continue, and we wait. Encryption will begin after computer restart. So next we're going to hit the computer restart, and that is going to finish up this video. Uh, the encryption will continue, and when you're done, you'll be prompted for entering your password, and that's all. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are having that specific issue with... Uh, enabling BitLocker, make sure to follow the tutorial that I provided in this video for that. Um, if not, uh, there will be a separate video where I'm just going to show people how to turn on BitLocker um, using actually a, a different system, I think is probably going to be best. All right. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, please stay tuned for more content. Biggest takeaway from this video, drive encryption, great for security, uh, especially if you don't want people accessing it outside of yourself, or, or for that matter, even potentially being able to turn the computer on without a flash drive as a startup key. Uh, of course, in this case, we use the password option. So have a wonderful day, guys, and thanks again for watching. Technology Concierge out.